whole image background and can card over it with some last morphism effect some cool kind of last morphism effect and we are going to make some vertical views and horizontal views so i hope it will be helpful for you guys so let's get started so i have just made a image background with some kind of image which i have applied here flex screw one and for now you can see we have a complete background of it with header and footer complete stuff so let's just add these two libraries reagnative blur and reagnative linear gradient so let's just go to a browser i have already opened for it for you guys so firstly we will add this uh reagnative blur so let me just add it and just follow the quick start guide of these two libraries and you are good to go let me just quickly install cd ios and or install for you guys and another library is reactive blur oh sorry linear guidance as you guys can see its installation guide you have to add this yarn depend whatever you are using so i'm using the yarn for it so let me just go back add it and again i have to do some pore install here you go so let me just wait it to finish yeah so far so good so let me just go back and if you go to the code and we are going to add a background view of that uh, card so let's just make a card with blur view uh, yeah so uh, if you go to the reactive blur you can see his blur view and we will apply some styles and blur type and blur amount to it let's just copy it and let's just paste it over here and just make this blur amount 20 light good to go we don't hold it ref and let's just add some styles to it so we can say we want width of 350 maybe and height of 200 Oh, I'm sorry align cell center and border radius maybe 20 border width 0.1 which is align some gold and yeah so let's just see if we have any help right now no so okay so we have just made this card so let's just add some uh, let's just make it center and just define content center yeah as you can see we have just made this beautiful card so you can use this card as you like or and or what we can do we can add some horizontal and vertical views to it I just use the linear gradient and if you go to linear gradient samples yeah we will pick up this linear gradient from here and let's just paste it out here as you can see it has added a starting color and ending color so let's just add the RGBA to 0 0 zero zero point zero nine and let's just copy it again and just add again rgp to zero point zero one and for start we can say like zero one y one and let's just make it one one and we can add multiple height width to it 
so let's just do that let me just align the code a little bit to make it more readable and we will say use angle to its use angle to its props oh my bad i forgot the bracket yeah so angle maybe yeah this is still an error uh, let me just check what the error is angle style let's just add some style in that is running to it height uh, maybe 100 percent and width also 100 percent let's just add some space to the code yeah so yeah so that's why the inline setting is bad so let me just add some motivate yeah so we're good to go now we will add the text type to it like i have shown you so let's just remove the multiple styles to it and inline styling and let's just say uh mr chips maybe not bad yeah so now we will add the uh card number maybe six seven 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 I don't know if these are 16 or 17 numbers but that's just a horizontal vertical view by default in react native the view is vertical maybe a interview question for you guys so by default the uh, orientation of the view is vertical and let just please clear me or tell me if i am wrong in any place in comment box below so let's just add the horizontal view style so for me i just make whenever i make a horizontal view just do two things i will just do justify content uh, space between maybe and i will do is flex action is row yeah it will make our view vertical oh my god so yeah so let's just add some margin to our view margin maybe horizontal 20 yeah so let's just add some padding to it make it more aligned let's just check anything happening no not right now so let's just add some pop to it text line maybe center color is going to be as yes, yes. and margin top 10 font size by the way this is not the best practice of styling you have to make your own classes uh, on files for styling or whatever you like but i'm just showing you in line sign for right now yeah let me just add it over here too let me just add maybe 40 and text line center yeah so let's just see if text appears uh it's throwing another let me just see what happened to it so we are expecting error i don't know let me just check what's going on let's just comment it out linear gradient for now i will resolve the error and push the code for the linear gradient let's just see if it will work without it or not yeah so as you can see guys it's working perfectly we have added the name we have added some uh, you can say the credit card number maybe and let's just go and add two more text views uh, let me just copy this and paste it over here this is going to be the expired date maybe and this is going to be the card type 
going to draw a master card. Let's save it. Let's just see what happened. Yeah, you can see. So let me just see. If I can turn this, should be a line item. Yeah, let's just change the font color of the design. Good to go. So font color maybe. Font. Oh I'm sorry. Uh we have to do color my bad. So we will say the blue maybe. Yeah. So as you can see guys we have successfully made the uh, image background with uh, blast morphism in Dragnative. So you can use in your projects or as you like. So please subscribe to the channel. It will help me out to make uh, more cool videos and give it a thumbs up. So thank you for watching.